University has started to invest in Bitcoin, start of institutional adoption. According to John Law, the founder of Capital Fund Luck Group, academic institutional and university have started to get involved in the cryptocurrency market, acknowledging the long-term potential cryptocurrency like Bitcoin and Ethereum. I have seen some academic institutions getting involved on a limited basis for strategic reasons. I can't say the name of, because that's utterly client. But we have people mostly on the East Coast that have begun doing investment in this space on a fairly modest basis, Lord told Oscar William Groot of Business Insider in an interview. No institutional adoption. By definition, an institutional investor is an entity to the gardeners found from a different sources to purchase properties, securities and assets. Institutional investors include entities like banks, insurance company, hedge funds, endowments and mutual funds. All hedge funds and a medium-sized investment firm cannot be considered institutional investors, contrary to the views of the many investors in the cryptocurrency market. By entities like universities and endowments are proper institutional investors that can allocate many billion of dollars into the cryptocurrency market and increase the liquidity of cryptocurrency. However, for academic institutions and endowments to commit large sums of capital into the cryptocurrency market, proper custodian solutions are necessary, as cryptocurrency hedge fund Blockware founder Ari Powell previously stated. Institutional money started trickling into cryptocurrency in mid-2017, but it's been slower than many expected. That doesn't mean it's not coming. There are a lot of pieces that need to come together, one big piece being third party custody. Custody isn't binary. It's not like Coinbase custody with large and suddenly your pension will throw $1 million into BTC. It takes time for custody solutions to gain trustworthiness. But I think we will have solid third party custody by September of this year. Or I showed a similar statement to Paul and noted that the majority of investment that has come into the cryptocurrency market has come from a high net worth individual and family offices, not institutional investors. But Lore emphasized that there are several institutional investors that are actively involved in the cryptocurrency market and what potential regulatory conflicts are avoided, institutional will begin to invest in the market. Still, Laura said that university endowment funds have already started to invest in the cryptocurrency market in a limited basis, adding that the growing interest towards the market by endowments shows the strong potential of cryptocurrency in the long term. We see academia as a tie between the somewhat young and enthusiastic fund managers and capital raising, Laura added. Significant of university, endowments showing interest in crypto. University endowments offer management billion of dollars and the priority of endowments is to invest in safe haven assets that can sustain stupidly over the long term. Growing demand for cryptocurrency by academic institutions signifies that institutional investors have started to acknowledge cryptocurrencies as a stable asset class that will eventually complete against traditional assets.